on the vocals there as well. Time now is 13 past eight. The Radio Whammo Breakfast. The view from Ariel L's place. Yeah, what's it like today? Let's have a look. Ariel L, good morning. G'day, mate. How are you? Well, we can actually... We, the, the storm's over, Whammo, so... Um, Matt, OK, you know, this time can, last week, this what, time last week, you had some pretty major predictions on. Yeah, I had um, some... Big, and, I, and I came pretty close. I think Mount Hutt at the end has got 80 centimetres, as I was calling a metre. Metre and a half, I think you said. No, no, I never said a metre and a half. Oh, come on. No, no, no. You want me to go back through the recordings? Uh, well, you can do that, but um, <laughs> if I did say a metre and a half, I reckon you'll be wrong and I'll be right. <laughs> OK. And, um, and then also, yeah, a lot and big. So it was awesome. Actually, on Wednesday, I uh, got, him, got, him a, got him a little car and I, I, I drove down to Wanaka, packed, you know, had my breakfast, drove down to Wanaka, went across the Canterbury Plains. You're mad. Had, had, uh, had water coming in the doors of the old truck at one oh. stage and... You know, it was very, uh, uh, you know, not very responsible at all. Went through a road, closed road and all sorts of bits and pieces. But I had a wee, I had a wee meeting down there. So went down there, had, had my wee meeting. And then I was like, well, what the hell am I doing down here? I might as well go back. So I drove down to Wanaka and then dro- drove back, coming back through the Lindus and over through the snow. And it was just, oh, it was just awesome, Whammo. And then you, stopped you're, off. You're like a storm chaser. Yeah, I pretty much was. And, then, and I had my, I actually took a photo Going over the Lindus Pass, the snowflake, the snowflakes falling down. It was it was awesome. And meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, the police are warning people now stay at home. Don't 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 do any unnecessary travel. Yeah, you know, Al decided to do a Wanaka back return in one <laughs> yeah. day. But uh, but I did stop off in Tekpo for a hot pool and a massage, oh, on, of course. You know, just to, and a little bit of sushi, just to make sure that they, you know get through. And then punched another Red Bull, and there I was back home at ten thirty. <laughs> Ran the gauntlet, but but yeah, th- all those those storms that you predicted with the flooding, that was all, all generally happened, didn't it? Yeah, no, it did it did happen, and uh, you yeah, one thing's for sure in, in New Zealand, if there was if there was a drought, it's over now. Yeah, gone. But um, yeah, but the, every every mountain in New Zealand is now set for an incredible season. So um, opening when? Uh, uh, opening Mount Hutt opens on the twelfth of uh, of June, I think the. Um, I think the just hold there for a second. It's Queen's birthday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Queen's birthday is this weekend, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Goodness. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, a long yeah. weekend coming up. Um, yeah, that is. It is a long weekend. Hmm. We don't need to get into it, do we? No. Oh goodness me, a short week. Well, so, no, a short week. Well, short week next week. Queen's, oh, okay, right. Queen's well, birthday's on the Monday, isn't it? Then, aren't we? It's always on the Monday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> sure it is. Anyway. Which means this will be our um, our our only chat in the next two weeks. But um, the know. one thing I did want to talk about today was Mr. Andy Hayden. Oh yes. Yeah. Have you been Have you been watching that one? I kept one ear on it. Yeah. Well, uh, I think if anything, it's an amazing um, display of how his his PR has basically saved his bacon. He's come through. He's made he's made you know what I would class as racist comments. And, and correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not quite sure what a, what is classed as a racist comment. But he has definitely pulled a couple out as far as, far as calling. Uh, you know, darkies, darkies, and all that sort of bits and pieces. But can, can we step back a second? Because and most people are going to groan and go, "Oh, Wemo, why don't you get this?" But I, I wasn't, I wasn't. Was he insinuating? Because I, I, I still don't really get it. Was he insinuating that the Canterbury team was racist and he was being racist as well, no, or was he, he was just racist? That, can- that Canterbury, the Canterbury had a policy of only employing, uh, only taking on three darkies in their team. So, but which would be a racist policy? Yes, it would be. So but was he accusing he, them of being racist? Yeah, but then he came back and he was ref- referring to the fact that um, darkies was referring to Polynesians. Right. And, you know, and then you get to the fact that, well, wh- you know, what is, you know, if, are we Polynesians or a Ma- Maori Polynesian or, you know, a Pacific Island Polynesian? The whole thing's just like, whatever, mate. You've, 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 you've had a bit of a shocker here. But isn't, this, isn't that a, a weird situation where he's accusing a team of being racist and yet he was using racist terms himself? So it's kind of strange, really strange and odd. Yeah, it is. is. But, the, but then, of course, he gets sent to the headmaster's office, you know, the, the, minister, the minister of sport, to, you know, gives a wee bit of an apology, gets away with the whole thing, and then and, and end of story. And meanwhile, you know, meanwhile, there's a lot of people I, I guarantee within Canterbury rugby that just want to have his head because that's just not on the whole the whole nine yards. And but at the end of the day, mate, and, and he is the he is you know there are six ambassadors that have been named by the union, and he's the only one that's New Zealand based. And um, you know, and everyone forgets what he actually does for a job. But why can't we all turn around and go, look, mate, he's old. 
Yeah, he's old. Right. He's from the old that old generation. Yeah, and World Cup, mate, mate. He's got an event and PR company that he sports management. He's going to be making millions over the World Cup as it is, and he's been left with a job. He's going to meet with the um, the sports minister today. No, that happened yesterday. Did it? Oh, it's happened. No. And what was the result? Oh, he's he's allowed, he's allowed to keep his job. Right. Yeah, so his, um, his company saved his bacon job on, uh, onwards and upwards, and um, you know it's just a classic situation of like, well now our now our ambassadors just like, oh goodness me, bring some fresh blood in. Got to say though, it's pretty typical for something like this to come out of Canterbury, of, of all the provinces. Well, it didn't come out of Canterbury. Well, but the but that's where the that's where the the fury started. You know, that's where the the um. The the thought was oh, no, the only, well, My theory is the only reason it happened is the, is the fact that basically he, he he's pissed off the fact that Sonny Bull Williams is going to come back and play for Canterbury and not Auckland. Is that what it comes down to? I think that's what it comes down to, mate. Well, I'm glad you've got to the bottom of it, Ariel. Oh, well, that's my view. I'm glad you can see the view from your house, all that right? That's my view, and that's, oh, that's my view, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Okay. Well, see, see you in two weeks. Love you, Enjoy man. the long weekend as well, eh? Oh, mm. yes, you too. Here's Multizoids. This is called Monkey King. 19 past 8, Kiwi.